Hi, welcome to another 3D printing demonstration video. Today I'm printing on a MakerBot replicator you can see behind me. And today I'm focusing on models of dinosaur fossils. And what's unique about these, these uh, files that I'm printing is they were created uh, by a software called 123D Catch. So instead of drawing these models in uh, CAD software, they're actually recorded with a camera. And as a result, you can capture all types of organic shapes, things that are generally hard to draw in, a, in, in a 3D software. A lot of the 3D software uh, drawings tend to be very regular in shape, very structured, very rigid, and organic, smooth compound curves are, are pretty hard to, to recreate. So as a result, a lot of the files that you'll find, uh, perhaps on Thingiverse, that are drawn in software such as SketchUp or uh, Tinkercad or Blender or many of the other SolidWorks, AutoCAD, uh, it takes a lot of time to make something look organically natural, and so a lot of the things you'll find there uh, look a little uh, artificial, a little stiff if they're trying to be a, a statue of some sort or a little figurine. But with 123D Catch, you actually capture a 3D scan of the actual object. And so as a result, the, the, scan, the prints come out really nice. And uh, I wanted to show you today a couple, and uh, they happen to be about dinosaurs. Now right now I'm printing a little dinosaur head of a T-Rex and I haven't seen it yet. I'm just printing it for the first time. So I'll roll in some video or some stills afterwards so you can take a look. And so today is all about dinosaurs. I'm just printing with dinosaurs. And I just wanted to explain a little bit about 123D Catch. And this is uh, not a 3D print but it's something I had. I've had this uh, around. Anyway, with 123D Catch you take your camera and you take basically two circles of pictures uh, between 40 and 70 images uh, you circle around from the higher level and then you come around at the lower level and when I've done it I've actually tried to take one at least one straight from the top if, if possible and what that does is allows you to capture from every angle with your camera uh, all the details of the, of the model and then you upload it to 123D Catch and they process and they send back a, a mesh for you uh, that, it does require some cleanup this isn't really a tutorial on 123D Catch I wanted to talk to you today about this Gomphotherium foot, this is what uh, I downloaded from Thingiverse. Uh, the designer is called Pretty Small Things, and she did a 1, 2, 3D catch at the American Museum of Natural History. And this is printed at a 0.2 millimeter layer height. And the print took six hours, which isn't too bad for something this, this size. You know, it was printed bottom side up, this was the bottom, printed on the fill plate like this. And you'll see it in the time lapse, which uh, I'll roll in shortly. And this was scaled up 1.5 times from the file that was presented on Thingiverse. Uh, this is one to one. This is the file uh, as it was on Thingiverse. And this is scaled up 1.5 times in Replicator G. And it didn't create, didn't seem to create any uh, any loss of detail. Um, any issues, just uh, took longer to render the G-code and of course longer to print. Uh, there's another one I have here, I can show you what the infill looks like. This is a, a fail print from the 1.5 uh, scaled up. Uh, this is on a MakerBot 1.75 millimeter black filament. And you can see the uh, infill there. This is 10% infill. And basically that honeycomb structure runs all the way down, all the way through, including throughout the base. Uh, it just saves on plastic. It's still a very strong print. There's no, uh, really no reason to put any more plastic inside. Once it's sealed up, you can't see that anyhow. And uh, just before I show you the, the time lapse, I have another, another print here from Thingiverse, another dinosaur fossil. And I'll put the information down below, below the video. You can find the links if you want to download these, these STLs to take a look. Uh, you can also see if other people post photos of their prints, you can sometimes see the differences, different colors, uh, different kinds of plastics, different layer heights, uh, different speeds, you'll see different qualities. What I'm shooting for is I'm trying to maintain the best quality I can achieve at the fastest rate I can get it. If I start pushing the speed too far and I see that I'm getting artifacts and, and problems happening, I'll slow it down. Uh, so I'm printing right now at about 48 millimeters per second with the... Um, uh, version 5.4 the accelerated firmware on the replicator. So that's it. Uh, so uh, sit back and enjoy. Watch this uh, time-lapse build of the Gumpotherium foot. Thanks for watching. 